Hi everyone, this is Teacher Shaan of Mathroom. Another lesson in business mathematics will be covered in this video. So aside from putting markup or markdown on prices, sometimes we have to deal with mark on. And so in this video, I will be discussing with you what mark on is and how to compute for this value. So for this lesson, these are the learning objectives. First, you should be able to define mark on and second, illustrate how mark-on is obtained. The essential questions for this topic are the following. First, when do businesses put mark-on on their prices? And second, how to compute for mark-on value? Let us now define mark-on. Mark-on is a business activity that is not often used. It is a temporary markup on certain products to take advantage of the high demand during peak seasons like Christmas, opening of classes, or special occasions being celebrated like commemorative, death anniversary, and etc. The price is immediately returned to its original level when the demand for the product also returns to normal level. So how to compute for mark-on? The computation of mark-on is based on the current selling price. So we have Mark on is equal to peak selling price minus the regular selling price or MO is equal to PSP minus RSP where PSP represents the peak selling price and the RSP is the regular selling price. Let us have some examples. First example, finding the peak selling price. Mang Jose observes that market covers prefer to buy fish from him because there is an undersupply of meat in the market this season. He then decided to increase the price of bangus by 20 pesos per kilo. If the cost of bangus is 100 pesos per kilo with a 35% markup, what is its new selling price with the additional increase of 20 pesos? So to solve this problem, first let us take note of the given values. It says here that there is an increase of 20 pesos per kilo, which gives us the idea of the mark on. Next, we have the cost of the bamus per kilo, which is 100 pesos, and the markup rate, which is 35% or in decimal 0 0.35. So before we can find the peak selling price, we need to know the markup. So the markup is given by the cost times the markup rate. So we need to multiply 100 and 0 0.35 to get the markup. Which is equal to 35. So with this value, we can now find the regular selling price which is equal to the sum of the cost and the markup. So we have 100, which is the cost, plus the markup, which is 35, and this gives us the regular selling price of the bangus per kilo, which is 135 pesos. And since we're talking about the peak selling price, to get that value, we need to add the RSP with the mark on value. So we have the formula PSP or the peak selling price is equal to the RSP plus MO or the mark on. So we have 135 plus 20 gives us a PSP which is equal to 155. So 155 pesos is the new selling price of the bangus per kilo. Second example, finding the cost. What is the cost of a souvenir package being sold for 800 pesos in a special event if the markup is set at a rate of 25% of the cost with an approved 10% mark-on rate based on the cost price included? So to answer this problem, let us first identify the given values. So we have here the peak selling price, which is the 800 pesos. Since it says here it is being sold for 800 in a special event. Next, we have the markup at a rate of 25% or 0 0.25.
And last, we have the mark on rate which is 10% or 0 0.10. Now, to solve for the cost, since we have the peak selling price, we need to use the formula that has the peak selling price. So we have peak selling price is equal to the regular selling price plus the mark on value. Do we know the regular selling price value? We don't. But we know that the regular selling price is taken from the sum of the cost and the markup plus the MO. Next, do we have the value of PSP? Yes, that is 800. And then we are looking for the cost, so we retain the C. How about for the markup? Since we're talking about here, markup is based on cost. So to get the markup value, we just simply multiply the markup rate and the cost to get the markup. Next, for the mark on, we don't know the mark on, but we know the mark on rate, which is 0 0.10. And the mark on is based on cost as well. So 0 0.10 times the cost that gives us the MO. Looking at our equation now, we can add these terms. So we have 800 is equal to the summation of all of this. This gives us 1.35C. And in order to find the cost, we should simply divide both sides by 1.35, we cancel this, so we have C is equal to 592.93. And so the cost of the souvenir package is 592.93. Third example, finding the regular selling price. What is the regular selling price of a souvenir package being sold for 800 pesos in a special event if the markup is set at a rate of 25% of the cost with an approved 10% mark on rate based on the cost price included? This problem is an extension of the previous item. So in order to find the regular selling price, we need to take note the cost that we have computed, which is equal to 592.93. Why do we need this? Because in finding the regular selling price, it is equal to the sum of the cost and the markup. Do we know the markup? We don't. That is why we need to solve first for the markup. Recalling how to solve for the markup, it is equal to the markup rate times the cost. The markup rate is given by 25% or 0.25. And the cost is 592.93. So this is equal to 148.23. So since we already know the markup, we can now find the regular selling price, which is the cost 592.93 plus the markup, which is 148.23. Adding these two values, we have 741.16. So we can now conclude that the regular selling price of the souvenir package is 741.16 pesos. Here are the key takeaways in this lesson. When we say mark on, it is a temporary markup on certain products to take advantage of the high demand during peak seasons or special occasions. This is the use of mark on. When there is a high demand on product, you put mark on on your prices. The price is immediately returned to its original level when the demand for the product also returns to normal level. And to solve for mark on, we will just simply subtract the peak selling price and the regular selling price. So here is the end of this lesson. Thanks for watching. I hope you have learned a lot. Please continue to support my YouTube channel by watching all of my videos, click like, post some comments, and share it with your friends. Thank you and see you on my next video.